precipice of history, LeBron James chasing the all-time scoring record tonight. He's facing his all-time great rival, LeBron's Lakers in Boston. Both those teams may very well be involved with this year's trade deadline. That reminds us to remind you not to miss the five-hour coverage on ESPN in 11 days, 18 hours, and almost 40 minutes. Uh, as we will get you set for the trade deadline, and obviously our senior insider extraordinaire, Woj, will be in the middle of all of that. Let's talk, however, Woj, about a player who somewhat surprisingly isn't going to get traded. Earlier this season, Miles Turner of the Pacers was on your podcast, basically lobbying for a trade to the Lakers. Today, you're reporting he agrees to an extension in Indiana. How did we get from there to here? Uh, Greeny, th this was a Pacers team that thought they'd be in the Victor Wimbayama sweepstakes this season, that they were headed toward a rebuild. And then led by Tyree Talibur and Miles Turner, they start winning and they move into the thick of it in the East. And I think the Pacers and uh, Miles Turner saw an opportunity here uh, to keep growing together. So here in the last few days, the Pacers and uh, Turner's agent, Austin Brown, they do a two-year, $60 million extension that includes a renegotiation, a record $17 million uh, renegotiation on this year's salary added on because they had a cap space in Indiana. And now this is a team that can still go out. Uh, you know, Buddy Heald's a player that I think has some value around the league. They have draft picks to go out and add more to this team. And when Halliburton gets back, this is a dangerous team in the East. And, and now Miles Turner locked up two years, $60 million, having his best season in the NBA. It's been such an unusual season, as competitive as it is, uh, maybe the wheeling and dealing will be a little quieter than we had originally expected. Woj, of course, will have all of that as we work our way towards it. In the meantime, let's talk about LeBron James. We have him tonight. LeBron James is just remarkable. He's taken his game to another level since turning 38. He's averaging nearly 35 points, nine rebounds, and eight assists. He leads the league in scoring since his 38th birthday. On December 30th. He's had several fantastic performances, including three 45-point games. That's tied with Michael Jordan for the most at age 38 or older all time. And now, as you probably well know, he's chasing Kareem and he's closing in. He's 158 points away from passing him and becoming the all-time leading scorer in NBA history. As of this moment, he's projected to pass Kareem on February 7th in a game against the Thunder, and we, of course, will be keeping a close eye on that. And, and so it, it, it feels like the right time to take stock of one of the great careers in the history of American sports. And so, Stephen A., when the story is told of LeBron James' career, how will you tell it? Well, the first thing I want to say is that since he turned, you know, and since his birthday, December 30th, he's led the league in scoring. Right. Uh, he's phenomenal. And what, what jumps out of my mind is that so many people talk about how great he is as a talent. What I want to applaud LeBron James for is for never cheating us as basketball fans. He's been the marquee since he came into the league. His game has gotten better and better and better throughout the years. When modifications were needed and alterations were needed, he made them. And at the end of the day, his conditioning <clears throat> stands out in my mind. To constantly think about this one thing, one, as simple as this sound, guys. Tell me one time in his career, other than when he had to, we tried the polio, the, the paleo diet or whatever the hell it was. Tell me one time we looked at LeBron James and said, he's not in shape. He hasn't taken care of himself. That, to me, he is a guy that has worked to maximize his potential and never cheat the audience and the fans. And I think that when all is said and done, when we look at his numbers, the one thing that we may not credit him enough for is the commitment to greatness that he put in in order to be great. What do you think, Perk? <laughs> what I think, <laughs> what I know. You know, the GOAT, right? The GOAT, the greatest player of all time. I've been saying it for the last two years, and I'm doubling down right now. See, when you talk about LeBron James, what Stephen A. just alluded to is longevity, right? We're talking about 20-plus years of being not only in the conversation of the best player in the league every single year, but actually being the best player in the league every single year. And then you go down to the, take the word pressure for a second. Pressure. See, I had the opportunity to grow up with LeBron James because 
We came out of high school together, Bicky D's class, drafted together, played together on the AAU circuit, played against each other on the AAU circuit. So I was there throughout this entire journey. And it's not an athlete in history, not in the NBA, but in the history of sports that has ever had the pressure like LeBron James and has exceeded expectations, right? Being labeled the chosen one at the age of 16, being called King James at the age of 16. He was set up to fail. And here we are today. I done started my new career. We the same age. And he is still going mm. to this day strong. The GOAT. For me, LeBron, I don't consider him the GOAT. Neither do I. But I feel sorry for y'all lost. No. I consider him the MVP, the most valuable person mm. to ever play in the league. Just think about this. You guys know this. As public figures, the, f the toughest thing to do is for public consumption, I see him be a husband. I see him be a father. Philanthropist, producer. Activist. Activist. And how about this? His best friend, Rich Paul, is a super agent. The influence that he now has, not only on people that play with him, but people around the league and up and coming players in the league. He's touched more tentacles than any player in the history of the game while he's about to be top five in assists yeah. and have the scoring title he's of all time. 17 assists to win. We are live at the Seaport. We are brought to you by Grey Goose, and we are counting it down to the renewal of the rivalry that has defined the sport practically since its inception. The Lakers and the Celtics in Boston tonight with a dejected Stephen A. Smith <laughs> and Kendrick Perkins, who is in for Mr. Wilbon and Jalen Rose. I am Mike Greenberg. We have lots to say about LeBron James, and we will tonight as we lead up to the game. But first, we must take you where we've just been in Brooklyn, where Kyrie Irving put on a show 21 points in the fourth quarter 32 on the night as the Nets knocked off their in-city rival Knicks 122 to 115 Kyrie Irving improving his team to three and six since the injury to Kevin Durant it was the fourth time this season that Kyrie dropped at least 20 points in a fourth quarter that's tied for the most such instances by any player in a season over the last 25 years this year no other player has scored 20 points in a fourth quarter more than once and so Steve a, as I turn to you, as you watch that, you made an interesting point here. What is it that goes through your mind when you see Kyrie Irving on the floor doing that to the Knicks? You know, I, I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> I, re I really am not. And, and, and on behalf of Knicks fans, we're not bad people. You know, we, is it too much to ask? We work hard. We're loyal. We support the team, even though they've given us nothing to support for the better part of the last quarter century. And, and you know, you see something like this. I came into tonight hyped about the New York Knicks. I love the way they play together. I love, I, I look at Jalen Brunson. I love the acquisition. You look at Julius Randle. I declared both of them to be all-stars. Did I not do that, Jalen? You did. Did I not you do did. that from the you bottom did. of my heart? Love. And then what happens? What happens, okay? Kyrie Irving puts on a show in the fourth quarter and reminds all of New York this is what you don't have in a Knicks uniform. You don't have a superstar that you can give the ball to when all else fails and says, take us there, which is exactly what Kyrie. Now, Julius Randle, R.J. Barrett, and Jalen Brunson combined for 69 points, and I would give away those 69 points for the 32 that Kyrie put because when he put it in, it was when it counted, and you had him. You had somebody like that. Not, not to compare Donovan Mitchell to Kyrie Irving, but damn it, Donovan Mitchell's a star. Yeah, you just have to give up the picks. And what you said was, culture, 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 like we should trust you and we should wait for Lord knows how long until you produce something that lets us know we can, we can have hope beyond the first round. And once again, it did not happen. We got to look at this team. <laughs> the New York Knicks told us tonight, you're going to make the playoffs, congratulations, but you're going home in the first round. It's all they told us tonight because they don't have what Brooklyn has. And Brooklyn's own Jay-Z told you, they're all right, but they're not real. That's really what it is for the Knicks. And you're right. They do have some great pieces. Jalen Brunson, Good. Julius Randle, R.J. Barrett, but they don't have a superstar. They don't have a perennial all-star. And you're right, Kyrie Irving in the fourth quarter with his 20-plus points. And by the way, the other thing, 
a dazzling brand of basketball. Yes. That's the other thing that the Garden would adore. You see how he hopping and skipping on y'all squad, Stephen A? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Big Perk, you won a championship with the Celtics, playing with players like he's talking about, Kevin Garnett and mm -hmm. uh, Ray Allen and, and Paul Pierce. You were there with KD and the guys in Oklahoma City, James Harden uh, and, and Russell early on. It comes a point in a game where everything else you're trying to do is what it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, just give one guy